What's up guys, Roberto here again with Innovative Sports Training. Time for another Health Detective Talk. Today guys, I'm going to talk about something that I wish I did not have to talk about, and that is cancer. I don't know of any family who has not been affected by cancer some way or another. They know someone who's close to them, a friend, a loved one, a neighbor, maybe someone you go to church with, maybe someone you go to school with, maybe someone you graduated with. Every family in this country has some way been affected by cancer. Now what I'm going to talk about today, once again, could be somewhat controversial if you talk to a medical doctor out there. I'm going to go over some things that doctors probably will not tell you. As I stated before, some of them really don't know this stuff because they're not really trained in it. So if you're in the medical profession out there, nothing personal. But it's just a fact, doctors are not trained in the area of holistic medicine and healing. So let's, go, let's jump into it, shall we? Cancer. I'm going to give you a few facts here. Part two, by the way, will be tomorrow. This is a two-part series. And tomorrow, we'll talk about how to prevent cancer and how to strengthen the body. And possibly even to reverse it. Cancer is a fungus. <clears throat> And as you know, a fungus is something that grows on trees, something that grows on uh, over-ripened fruit, you let it sit out too long. It's a fungus that grows inside your body. We all have cancer cells in us. We do. But we, we can prevent those cells, so to speak, from proliferating by how we manage our life. Which leads me to the next number two here. <clears throat> The next bullet point. <clears throat> is cancer genetic or metabolic? <clears throat> My contention is that it is metabolic primarily. As I said, we are all born with a certain amount of bacteria, different types of cells in us. Now, where the rubber meets the road is are we going to let those bad things, those bad bacteria, those fungus, those cancer cells proliferate within us. It all depends, once again, on your lifestyle and how you manage your life. So I would say cancer is mainly metabolic as a result of how you function in your life. Cancer will overtake healthy cells of the body. What, as I talked about before, mold, it's similar to mold, rust, mildew, a fungus, it's growing in there. You cut open a tomato, you leave it out for a long period of time, or better yet, here's what you do. You put something in your refrigerator, a piece of leftover meat, and leave it in there for a couple months. See what happens to it. Pretty nasty. And that's what cancer will do to your body. The bad stuff will overtake the good stuff. Next one. Cancer cells rapidly divide in the body. Once the body has become somewhat cancer driven, those cells overturn quickly. Boom, 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 boom. They're taking over the good stuff, the good stuff, the good stuff, the good stuff. It's a rapid division and a rapid turnover. Those cells are dividing from a molecular standpoint. Cancer cells love yeast, sugar, and stress. Now, yeast is in bread, of course. Sugar is sugar. Granulated sugar. Pastas. Because pasta, once you eat it, it converts to sugar in the body. Now, am I saying do zero sugar? Well, if you have a serious problem with cancer right now, yes, I would say that. But if you don't have cancer, but you still like some sweets now and then, that's okay. But some people say, well, you know, everything in moderation, Roberto. Well, What's moderate for one person could be too much for another person. Now, let's talk about stress. As you well know, in a lot of these talks, I talk about cortisol. If the body is stressed physically, mentally, chemically, nutritionally, emotionally, you will produce too much cortisol. Too much cortisol can make your body start to shut down in some areas. You become more pro-inflammatory. Pro your thyroid will stop working. You can develop leaky gut. With leaky gut, you, 
develop autoimmune disorders. Autoimmune disorders mean that now your body's immune system is attacking itself. Thus, the big C word, cancer. That's what cancer is. It's overtaking your body, your immune system. And all because of a little bit of stress, maybe. It could be just years and years of bad eating. It could be years and years of just working too many hours at the, at the office and stressing yourself out. Who knows? A weakened mitochondria. Now, there's a gentleman by the name of Otto Warburg, and I'm kind of a nerd about this stuff. I like doing research. He came up with a theory a long time ago. It's not really a theory. It's been proven that when the mitochondria of your cells become compromised, become weakened, you're going to be more susceptible to cancer overtaking your body. The mitochondria, that is the powerhouse of the cell. And when you weaken that mitochondria, you open up Pandora's box with all kinds of nasty stuff happening with your system. Now, fungus will die in the absence of sugar. Wow! And now you guys know why I talk about sugar so bad. Sugar is crap, guys. Okay? In excess, in particular. Now, do I have a little bit of sweet now and then? Yeah, I do. I'll admit I do. But I'm very, very disciplined about it. I'm just telling you that if you have a problem with sugar, it could be because you're addicted to it for one, you're insulin resistant, number two, and number three, if you have fungus growing in your body, guess what? You become more addicted to sugar because you're feeding the fungus. Fungus loves sugar. And the more you feed it, the more it grows. And when you do have it, it makes you want to eat more sugar. Figure it out, guys. Come on. Cancer is over 80% preventable. Now, here's where the controversy might kick in. You might say, well, Roberta runs in my family. Maybe it does. Maybe your family weren't living the right kind of lives like they should. Maybe they were stressed out in certain ways. I'm just saying, guys. All I'm saying is this. Cancer is over 80% preventable. And I'm going to give you some references at the bottom of this video where you can do your own research on this. Once again, don't take my word for everything. Do your own homework and do your own research. It's 80% preventable. Just because you have bad genes does not mean, or bad bacteria or and or genes, does not mean that you have to let those things express themselves and proliferate throughout the body. You can control those things, which I'll talk more about tomorrow. 1,500 people a day die of cancer. 1,500 a day in this country die from cancer. We have a problem. Breast cancer has gone up 90% in the last four decades. 90%. Guys, something is wrong with this. $192 billion dollars. To this date, now this research I looked at was probably about two years old. So it's probably, probably more than that now. This was about, a, I believe, a 2015 or 16 uh, study I read. $192 billion has been spent on cancer research and trying to prevent it. You know how you prevent it? Manage your stress. Now, tomorrow, guys, we're going to talk more and more about the preventative aspect of cancer. And possibly, possibly how you can reverse it. Now, I'm not here to tell you guys, if you're on current treatment for cancer, to get off of that. I would never do that, as I talked about before. I'm just giving you some stressors that could be the bottom line reason you have the symptoms of cancer. or leaning towards cancer. And you can just draw your own conclusions from that. I'm here to help you. Guys, I hope this has been helpful to you. My name is Roberto Parker, once again. I'm with Innovative Sports Training, my own company here in Blue Springs, Missouri. I'll be more than happy to help you guys do some testing with you, do some evaluations with you, do some online, some, some phone consultations, some live consultations, whether you live out of town or live here locally with me. I'll be glad to help you. My number is 816-405-7703. My email is rwpsports at yahoo.com. I'm on Facebook. Please friend me there. And we can touch base there too. Guys, have a blessed day. Tomorrow will be part two. Take care.
Bye-bye.